In a poll that ran from 10 a.m. on Friday, March 18, to 8 a.m. on Monday, March 21, Express asked, Will you listen to Meghan Markle's new Spotify podcast? The poll gathered a huge response, with 21,035 people casting their vote, and hundreds of comments left below the accompanying article. Overwhelmingly, voters said no, they won't be listening, with 98%, 20,699, choosing that option. Just 1%, 285 people, said yes, they'd listen, and 51 people said they weren't sure if they'd listen or not. In the comments left below the poll, readers mostly said they just didn't feel like the podcast interested them. Username Dukovdar wrote, Listen? You must be joking, the majority of us don't even read the articles about them. And username Norman Gast wrote, No I will not be watching, reading or listening to this new venture of hers, whatever it is. Others, however, said they'd listen if some key guests were brought on, like username Luella7, who said they'd listen only if Piers Morgan is a guest. Piers Morgan, the former Good Morning Britain host who was forced to leave his role after he made derogatory remarks about Meghan's mental health, has been embroiled in a long-running feud with the Duchess for years. Ahead of his new show on Talktv in February, Piers invited Meghan to be his first guest. He said, if Meghan Markle's watching, I'm sure she is. If you want to be my first guest, we have a bit of unfinished business. I'm available. The Duchess didn't publicly respond to the call, but it is highly unlikely she would agree, or that she would ever invite him on her podcast as a guest. After Meghan told Oprah in a tell all interview last year that she had been having suicidal thoughts, Piers said he didn't believe a word she said. The comments led to a huge outcry, with Meghan herself filing one of the 54,000 complaints to broadcasting watchdog Ofcom. Ofcom cleared Piers in September last year, ruling that the host had been sharing his opinion and was entitled to do so. Little is known about what Megan's long-awaited podcast will contain. A spokesperson for Archul Audio, the branch of Meghan and Prince Harry's Archul Foundation that will produce the podcast, said the Duchess was committed to taking steps to combat the spread of misinformation on Spotify. This comes after Meghan expressed her concerns to the company's executives over infamous podcaster Joe Rogan's false claims regarding COVID vaccines. However, the spokesperson added that Archul has been encouraged by ongoing conversations with senior leadership, and is working towards policies, practices and strategies meant to raise creator awareness, minimize the spread of misinformation and support transparency. The deal with Spotify, first signed in 2020 is reported to have landed the royals an estimated $25 million, £19 million. Over the course of the last year, Meghan and Harry only released one episode of the podcast as part of that contract, a 33-minute holiday special in December 2020, featuring their son Archie's first public words and cameos from a wide array of celebrities including Sir Elton John and James Corden. At the time of the podcast's release, the first complete series was widely expected to be released in 2021 but production was beset by delays. In January this year, however, Spotify reportedly began hiring additional producers to work exclusively with Archual Audio. A source told that Spotify was taking production into its own hands, increasing its focus on the royal couple's upcoming projects and advertising for in-house staff to cover every step of the production process. Another news, the Queen is using a wheelchair and is cancelling engagements because she is proud and doesn't want to be seen struggling. Christopher Biggins has claimed. Speaking on GB News this morning, the Panto star said, It's so very sad and I hope she is able to make her anniversary celebrations. I have heard that the reason she is not doing a lot of the events that she should be doing and cancelling them is because she is in a wheelchair. She doesn't want to be seen because she's very proud. It comes after reports Buckingham Palace has a meticulously orchestrated military-style plan to take the Queen, 95, to Prince Philip's memorial service next week. The operation is said to include flying Her Majesty from Windsor Castle to Buckingham Palace by helicopter, transporting her by car, and using a private screen to shield her from photographers. One source told that Her Majesty does not want to be seen in public in a wheelchair over fears of replicating a haunting photo taken of her late sister Princess Margaret in the months before her death.